Hello, hi YouTube. This is Kai Turner, and I'm gonna bring you a nice, easy video, a quick video of how to get the Z Image Turbo model running on your computer with any VRAM requirements, pretty much. Um, I'm running with a 5070 FE, 12 gigs of RAM, and this thing works like a charm. As you can see, my generation time's pretty much 40 second-ish, and it is super lightweight, so it's only six billion parameters, so, you know, super easy to run. I'm running a full model, as you can see. Uh, I have this right here for the weight type, the first one. Uh, I got the clip right here and the VAE, and this is 1440p. So, you know, 2K resolution, square, of course. And you'll even be able to get this prompt because a lot of people always ask, like, where, where, where's your prompt, where's your prompt? I'll give you this prompt so you can make this exact image. And because of the model, you typically do get, like, similar type images. So if you like that, that's great. But if you don't like that, um, I'll also include this power loader so you can get exactly what I do. So you can get a lot more varied uh, range of what pictures you get. This is a team I would appreciate if you gave us all a subscribe, a follow, and obviously that would help out us a lot. And you get this beautiful workflow. Like, look at this. Look how aesthetic this looks. Like, a lot of workflows are, like, ugly looking. This is a beautiful workflow to just give you what you want. Uh, nine steps, a lot of people have been using like eight steps or 20 steps or 10 steps, but nine steps seems like to be the sweet spot for the Z image model. And it actually makes some really impressive images. As you can see right here, you can zoom in and everything. This is a nice koi pond. You get this cool Japanese shrine and you can even like zoom in. You can see the detailing on her. And I really love like all the, the rocks and aesthetic. Like the scenery in Z image really does look amazing. Like, I don't know how else you could, you know, say that. Like, a lot of models kind of struggle at that. And I know you're probably wondering, like, is this better than Google? Is this better than anything else? Well, I got a perfect comparison. This is actually Gemini, as you can see. Very, very aesthetic. Slightly lower resolution. And you can see how the face textures and things like that look pretty good. I mean... Gemini is always going to be amazing at what it does. You know, you got the little watermark here. It's got the exact same bob. Ironically, they chose the same color. I didn't even tell it to choose this color. It just chose the same color. So really good composition in terms of design. But compared to the Z image model, I don't know. Like side to side, you be the judge. You tell me in the comments uh, which one would you prefer personally. I think... This is honestly, it's up to personal preference. Like some people are definitely going to choose the Z image model, but I could see people going with the Gemini model as well. They both have their own unique qualities. I like the detailing with like even the little things like the leaves and things like here versus like Google going for more of a soft focus on the character approach. So they're both varied in that range. And when you look at Z model, you can get a whole bunch of different types of prompts. I did all of these just to see different things. This 85 one right here is with the full model. So, you know, using the weight by default. And you can see that the quality does seem to go up a little bit. You can see slightly more detailing with the face and things like that. But to be honest, I don't think it's really worth it that much. Just like lowering the quality to the fast, I feel like you lose some of the details like... Um, the background's even more blurry than normal, and even her face seems a little softer than it would typically. That's when I started to go with the just uh, the F, uh, FP8 model, and you can see it brings out the like color in her eyes, the, the the shadows, the little ruffles on the skin. It's really detailed at getting the exact aesthetic that you want, and obviously completely uncensored, so you can make anything you want to make with this, which is probably the reason why you know Comfy UI is a little bit better than say Google. Google took 20 seconds to make the generation versus this taking double the time but the fact that you can make anything you want i think that is the the kicker of why people would want to use this model so as always the full workflow right here is completely downloadable i'm gonna give you this i'm also going to provide a link to all of the different uh diffusion models so i'll make it nice and easy so you can make this exact uh workflow and you can even make this exact image if you want with the prompt that i'm also going to provide with that so as always, subscribe if you like the video, and I'll probably be bringing you a lot more of these style videos where I'm showing you my Comfy UI workflows. I have a lot of them, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have um, some pretty fun times here.